Pokemon Sun and Moon had brought over a ton of new changes and additions to the main series Pokemon games. Every main series Pokemon game prior to Sun and Moon had a champion who conquered the Elite Four before you, but there was one story where we were close to missing out on facing a champion, and that story is the original story. My friends, today we're going to be talking about the possibility of Blue being the first champion of the Indigo League. What's going on guys? Hybridary here. Thanks for tuning into the video. Regardless of if you're a new or old viewer, the support means a lot to me. If you'd like to further help support the channel, then you can become a Patreon today. But if not, then don't worry as your viewership is more than appreciated. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hero punch that like button. If you don't, hit that dislike button. Let me know how you feel. But if you guys do want to see another theory video next week, then be sure to hit the like and view goal of 1500 views and 750 likes by the end of the week from when this video is uploaded. Be sure to share the video around so we can reach the goal. Subscribe and hit the little bell icon if you want to stay up to date with all my latest videos. And beyond that, I hope you enjoy the video. Once you head towards the end of the main story in Pokemon Sun and Moon, you find out that the Pokemon League has been established and head over to be the first one to conquer a Alola's Pokemon League. After you beat the Elite Four members, you enter the Champion's Chamber, only to find out that you really are Alola's first champion. Sure, you do have to end up fighting for Sakukui, but he's not the champion. He just challenges you as a final battle to see if you're worthy of the title of champion or not. But besides that, Professor Kukui is just the one who created the Pokemon League. He even names you the first ever champion of the Alola region, which is the first time something like this has happened in any main series Pokemon game. Or is it? Yes, it's true, Sun and Moon are the first games where you're the first champion. However, a similar situation to this one has occurred in previous titles. More specifically, the original games and their remakes. From now on, I'm just going to be referring to these as Red and Blue. In Red and Blue, the Elite Four was meant to be the final challenge of the game. They were hyped up from the very beginning of the games as the leaders of the Pokemon League and that it was your goal to beat all four of them. Once you do beat all four of them, you get an overwhelming feeling of delight and satisfaction only for it to be crushed because apparently your rival, who in this video we're going to call Blue because localization and simplicity, beat the Elite Four before you and was rightfully dubbed the champion of the Indigo League. Oh, my blood's boiling. Now, nostalgic feelings of shock and hatred aside, doesn't this sound a little familiar to you? Throughout the game, there was no mention of a champion. In all the other games, a champion is directly mentioned, or if it wasn't directly mentioned that a champion exists or who the champion was, the champion of that region still goes around the region and protects it, because that's what a champion is meant to do protect the region, and the only games where there's no authoritative figure helping the player character out are Red and Blue and Sun and Moon, almost confirming that there was no champion and only the Elite Four, and after being the final member of the Elite Four, Blue was named the champion, the same way the player character in Sun and Moon was named champion. Sun and Moon took a lot of inspiration from the original games, such as the Professor Battle, which is also meant to be in Red and Blue. So the whole concept of having no previous champion and becoming the first champion could have been something that was taken from the original games. So is that it? Was the Indigo League a newly built league? Did our scumbag rival really just give us a massive wound by becoming the champion before us and then added a little bit of salt to it? by becoming the first ever champion? Should we even care that we may have possibly killed this Raticate? Nah, I'm sorry, rest in peace Raticate, that was, that was a bit morbid. My friends, we should care about this Raticate, because your rival was most likely the first champion, but also not the first champion. Hear me out on this one. Clearly, there was no champion at the time of Red and Blue, but I'm sure that there were multiple champions prior. I say this because the Indigo League must have been around for some time. Unlike the Alolan League, gyms were already established and built around the region, which is already a huge indicator that the League has been around for some time. Also in Saffron City, Sabrina's gym was only recently considered to be the real gym of the city. Prior to her gym, it was the Fighting Dojo. The two had to duke it out to see which gym was superior, so there was conflict between the two, meaning that again, 
they must have been around for some time. Finally, when O comes to congratulate you, he's aware of the Hall of Fame and all the other fancy league stuff, as if he's been through it beforehand. And sure enough, while they are different, the manga tries to follow the games relatively close, and in the manga, Professor Oak states that he once was the champion of the Indigo League. Regardless of whether you want to take the manga into consideration or not, it just seems strange for Oak to know so much about the league. And heck, he even has a champion level team that was meant for the after game. His team and his knowledge of the league without directly being involved in it definitely makes me believe that he was once champion at one time as well. So, after all this, the question becomes, why is there no Indigo League champion when Red and Blue are on their adventures? Unfortunately, I don't have a definite answer. From here, it's just speculation. If I were to guess, I'd have to assume that the famous Pokemon War that Lieutenant Surge mentioned caused some kind of disruption within the League, causing it to reset as a whole. Maybe the former champion and the Elite Four members died in the war protecting the region, and then after these five members passed away, they needed a new set of Elite Four members. And thus, Lorelei, Bruno, Agatha, and Lance were chosen, and they remained undefeated until the player character's journey. Or if not the war, something else. Something to create a new line of Elite Four members that remained undefeated until Blue showed up. So while Blue may not be the first champion of the Indigo League, I do think that he was the first to beat these four elite Pokemon trainers back to back, making him the first champion to reign over this new and improved Pokemon League. And you know what? Despite all the jokes and what we all felt back when we were first playing the games, I'm happy that Blue became the champion. Because it shows that we were a worthy rival. One that was able to push Blue to become greater and greater after every encounter with us, we were able to help him get strong enough to beat every gym in Kanto, and eventually reign as the champion of the region. And he was an even better rival. His snob-like attitude, his put-downs, and his strength all cultivated something inside of us. A desire. A burning desire to surpass our own limits and become the champion of the Indigo League ourselves. So I'd say we should thank our rival, our friend, the first champion of the new Indigo League, Blue, for helping us cultivate a burning desire to go beyond our limits and become the new champion of the Indigo League. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This theory was inspired by a Reddit post from the user 360 Quaxco. Thanks for the inspiration my friend, I love your username by the way. Guys, be sure to share the video around so we can hit the like and view goal. Do you think that Blue was the first Indigo League champ? Let me know in the comments down below. And finally, subscribe and hit that little bell icon to stay up to date with all my videos. Once again, thanks guys, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next video, alright? Later!